Hi, everyone, and welcome to another edition of Walk the Walk and Talk the Talk. My name is Stephanie Badalino. And if you were with me on the last episode, you recall that we talked about pronouns. Um, and most importantly, how to create a safe space when you're interacting with someone uh, to identify the pronouns that you use and find out what preferred pronouns are in a way that is inclusive and respectful. But this time out, in this, in this episode, I'd like to pull out for a wider view of language and deconstruct, however briefly, something that is called the gender binary uh, that is prevalent in society today. At least for now, it's prevalent in society. Um, and I think the, the, the headline on this is the gender is not a line that's fixed with two endpoints male and female, hence the gender binary. Does that really, when you stop and think about it, reflect what our society today really looks like? I don't think so. It's not some flat one-dimensional construct. I mean, really, just look around. Doesn't that really, does that really reflect the world around us? I don't think it does. And if you think long enough about it, and I don't think you have to think too long about it, you'll, you'll agree. What I like to say is that it's not really a gender binary, it's a gender continuum. It's a sliding scale of possibilities. And when we frame the language conversation, I think it's important that we root ourselves in this, in this concept, in this construct. I liken it to a game of four dimensional chess and for all you Star Trek fans out there you'll remember that from Spock and and Kirk playing that game um, but really when you think about it there are four different elements if you will when we frame the language conversation it's our birth sex it's our sexual orientation it's our gender identity and it's our gender expression now I'm not going to dive deeply into each one of those today we don't have enough time and in later episodes I will certainly do that but what we need to understand is that when we look at each one of those lines, it doesn't have just two points on it. There are a number of points along the line. And in fact, the chart that I use when I train with companies and organizations, the lines have outward arrows on either side, because really it's a sliding scale, it's a continuum. And quite frankly, the possibilities are endless and they can go past the boundaries of a PowerPoint slide. And that's why I use the arrows. The metaphor I like to use to explain this to people is um, the A line of the New York City subway. Now, I know many of you may not be familiar with the MTA in New York City, um, but you have to understand I worked in Manhattan for years, lived in the New York City metropolitan area for years, and I got to know the subway pretty well. And uh, I think the A line is one of the longest lines in the entire system. It starts at the very tip of Manhattan, winds its way down through Manhattan, through all of Brooklyn, pretty much, and out into Queens, past JFK Airport, all the way out to a place called Far Rockaway. Now, that's pretty far. But imagine, like the gender binary, if that line only had two stops, one at the beginning in a place called Inwood, and another one all the way at the end in Far Rockaway. What kind of utility would that have? I mean, what purpose would it serve? And more broadly, does it really reflect the riding needs of the public? No, of course it doesn't. In reality, the A-line, and I did check this online yesterday because <laughs> I'm, I'm, a, I'm a geek about these sorts of things. Uh, the A-line has at least 60, maybe a little bit more, I was kind of counting really fast, stations along the entire line. And I think, and for some, they'll, for certain riders, they'll get off at certain stations on certain days, they might get off at other stations on other days. And isn't that really what society is like? Especially when we think about it along the dimension of say, gender expression, where individuals in our society, many, represent a range of appearances from masculine to feminine to androgynous and all points in between, just like the stations on the atrium. And the upshot of all of this is really a simple concept. It's about getting people. It's about getting you perhaps 
to think differently about old and what I would say are tired constructs about gender that our society has still embracing that really no longer fit. And that's really where it all begins. So think about that for a second. And I wanna thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. All of us here on YouTube say those sorts of things. And feel free to share this across all your social media networks because together we can change hearts, we can change minds, and in the process, I certainly hope we can change the world. I'm Stephanie Bagolino, and I'll see you next time for another edition of Walk the Walk and Talk the Talk. Take care and stay safe.